Hi, I'm Bill. I'm Lori. And if this is your first time at our channel, uh, welcome. Uh, today, uh, Lori's going to show us how to make an easy at home pizza dough. Uh, the recipe is from the guys at Roberta's Pizzeria in Brooklyn, New York. And the guys are Anthony Falco and Angelo Womack. So, okay. Lori, take it away. Well, in our bowl, we have our um, double zero flour, but you can also substitute um, bread flour. And so I'm going to add all the dry ingredients, which is just salt. And I like to use um, instant dry yeast. It doesn't need activation. You just pay attention to the expiration date on your uh, package, and it can be added directly to the flour. So I'm going to mix the ingredients together. And we're going to follow up this video with cooking this dough later today, as well as 24 hours later. And then we're going to do a comparison of cooking the dough on the same day or a day later. And Lori tells me this dough uh, can stay good in your refrigerator for what, five days? Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to add my water. going to um, just use my hands to dry uh, mix the ingredients together and we're going to mix it until the dough is all the flour is fully incorporated the dough will the dough will not look smooth just a shaggy ball and what we also hope to show is if you're new to dough making dough making can be easy And we'll have a link to the dough recipe in the description below. And if you like this content, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so it's out of the way and you'll see a notification of our future videos. And as always, sharing is caring. So feel free to share this uh, video with friends. Okay. Takes about three minutes or so to just mix this flour and water together. And after she's done mixing, we're going to let it proof for 15 minutes. Uh, not proof. We're going to let it hydrate. Hydrate. And okay. It's hydration that happens during that 15 yeah. minutes. And the dough should be more relaxed also. Okay, I think the fully incorporated. Now you're going to cover this up and let it rest for 15 minutes. Okay, so we'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, so 15 minutes has gone by and it's time to knead our dough. And it, this recipe takes minimal kneading, just maybe three minutes or so. I find it easier to... Um, Need on the counter. I don't know, maybe it's my height or something. <laughs> and so you want to knead until the dough is nice and smooth. Just press with the heel of your hand. Uh, I'll leave that there in case you need your scraper okay. for dividing. So this dough isn't really sticky, so it's very easy to knead. And so off of these uh, amount of ingredients, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to get two dough balls, yes, as it, I understand it, I, I, and they'll make, uh, each should make about a 12 inch pizza. That's right. And our plan is to cook one tonight. Yes. And then we'll cook one tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. And those two cooks will be in a separate video, and then we will give you our thoughts on this dough as far as ease to work with is one, Lori. Right. Uh, 
Yeah. How does it cook? Uh, what's the rise like? And of course, what does it taste like? Yeah, there's a, some flavor development that goes on over the five days if you want to hold it that long. So we're going to just see if there's any difference within 24 hours. And this is a New York style pizza dough. That's correct. I mean, that makes sense coming out of the uh, Roberta's Pizzeria uh, in Brooklyn, New York. It's a pretty famous uh, pizzeria. But I guess you didn't have any of their pizza. You were in Soho when you were in New York, right? Oh, the last well, I, I had pizza all over New York City, uh, in the boroughs, in mm -hmm. uh, Manhattan, uh, over the years. Um, and when we uh, cook this, we're just going to cook uh, with uh, cheese. Uh, when we're testing out new doughs, we just use cheese to have a constant variable. Don't let the toppings influence what we think about the taste. So this dough, compared to some other doughs, is really easy to manage. Some doughs are, are wetter, although this is a 66% hydration, it's still not that sticky. And we're doing these videos because we want to show that making dough is not hard. You know, some people make uh, some, I guess they call it poolish or biga that uh, requires mixing parts of the dough together, but. Uh, and then incorporating additional flour. But this is really one of the easier doughs to make. Okay, it's been three minutes. Okay. So the dough should be pretty smooth and you can use your scraper to help you make a nice ball. So we can... and use your the friction on the table. To make a smooth ball. And I know sometimes you use a scale, sometimes you just do it by eye. Well, this is only two pieces, so. And it said uh, what it's supposed to make, so. You can use the friction of the table to make a nice smooth ball. Yeah, some people like to tuck their dough in more tightly, like this. And then make sure the b bottom is tight before they roll it into a ball. So that might be make a nicer, smoother one. Cover the tops with some flour. Doesn't need a whole lot. Maybe I'll do the same with this one. We cover it with plastic wrap, and then we're gonna let it um, proof for three to four hours. Before we cook the first ball tonight. That's right. And then we'll do the second ball tomorrow night. So hopefully you can see this is a pretty easy uh, dough to make. Uh, you don't need a big mixer or anything like that. And uh, now we're gonna see how it tastes, so be sure and check that video out. Uh, that should be up in a day or so, because we have to wait till tomorrow to do the second ball. Uh, but Thank you for watching and thank you for checking out our channel. Hope you subscribe, share, or like. Thank yeah, you. That, yeah, thank you. Good job, Lori. All right, that's it. It's a wrap. Thanks.